Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your amazing support to our channel. Ladies and gentlemen, the impeachment motion against regarding Shago is something that perhaps William Ruto will live to regret. Because even as we speak, it is giving William Ruto sleepless nights. As Kenyans wait with better the breath for the verdict of the Senate, and most possibly the extension of this case to the Supreme Court. Things are not the same ever since the National Assembly voted to impeach Rigadiga Shagwa. William Ruto boycotted a church event in Embu when he realized that Rigadiga Shagwa was going to be in that meeting. A last minute cancellation and I think he was advised by the NIS boss, Nodin Haji, that it was going to be total mayhem and embarrassment to the Ruto and the Centurate, to all the henchmen like Kimani Chungwa and all the other mouthy MPs. Over the last 24 hours, things are happening and Rigiji is winning this game. Many people thought that maybe at this moment Rigedi Gishagwa should be gloomy and in a somber mood. But Rigiji knows how Kenyan politics is played and the people who advise Rigiji, I have to give them some co-accolades on this because they are doing a good job. Yesterday, Rigiji appeared a stress-free man, very happy and very jubilant, very jovial. And I want you to see how Kenyans were scrambling to take selfies with Rigiji and Rigiji dancing to the Anguka Nayo tune. And even the countenance showed a man who is very happy, only waiting for the outcome of the Senate debate. Amid all this, there are events that people were shouting, Ruto must go. And Moses Kuria had you know, cut short his speech. Because people are saying Tunataka Rigiji is one of the people who have, been, who have been, you know, criticizing Rigiji. At another event where Kalonzo was, it was the same. Ruto must go. Ruto must go. You know, regarding a Shangwa wanted to tell William Ruto that I'm stress free. I'm enjoying my, my, my self. And if there is one reason why people uh, tend to align with Rigiji, it's because Rigeti Gashagwa, if there is one thing that he managed to do before he was impeached at the National Assembly, you remember 
A day before the prosecution of his case in the National Assembly, he called for a press conference in his current home. And one thing he did, he ensured for two hours he, he demonstrated why he is going to be impeached or why he feeds these people. And he really portrayed a, a, a picture of malice from the members of parliament. And even at the, at the National Assembly, Rigiji said that one of the reasons why he's being victimized is because there were several deliberations that were taken in the cabinet and he could not agree with them. He's talking about abductions. He's talking about a Danny deal. He's talking of corruption. He's saying, I cannot be part of it. Whether it is cheap politics, Rigiji knows very well that the people of Kenya do not want abductions. And he told them the reason why I am being you know, a victim as here is because I'm, I'm, I'm speaking on your behalf. He's talking about demolitions of in, in, the, in, in, in Nairobi and demolitions of houses. He also played videos of William Ruto criticizing the former NAS boss and William Ruto criticizing the former IG of police saying he was the most incompetent IG in the world. And so with that, he was saying what many people feel, that if Rigiji is bad, then both of them. Many Kenyans today say that whatever Rigiji is doing, he's only perfecting what William Ruto is doing. And many people, Regadi Gashagwa, managed to convince Kenyans that I'm being victimized out of malice. You've seen how Susan Kihika was heckled at a funeral. They were there with people like Oscar Sudi. In Kinango, their member of parliament, Zachary, uh, Zachary Dugo, was smoked out from a bar, a joint where he was enjoying his drink. And people told him, we are very uncomfortable with you. Get out. And bottles went flying in the air and the, the security team had a difficult moment. So Rigiji has, you know, endeared himself to the people. And Kenyans are not foolish. They know why this is happening. They know that some, some, some regional kingpins have ganged up and they want to push Rigiji out. And I've always maintained on this platform that it is not like Rigiji is an angel. We are protecting Rigiji because we want the law to be applied equally. You know, it cannot be that the president is so special that when he appoints people from his, his backyard, it is not tribalism. Yet when Rigiji says that I'm fighting for my people, shareholding, then it becomes a sin. We are also protecting our constitution so that tomorrow we will not have people playing petty politics that every Tom, Dick and Harry will be given a, a, a leeway of going to parliament and sponsoring an impeachment motion against an officer. And in fact, I have always told you that we should try and look at that office beyond Rigadi Gashagwa. Let us look at that sacred office, realizing that Rigiji could be out today, another person will be there tomorrow. And this impeachment motion was purely political. That's why people have ganged up. And so, ladies and gentlemen, Rigiji has endeared himself to the people, and this is giving William Ruto sleepless nights. William Ruto is no longer you know, walking very free, freely the way he was, maybe he can go to the places where members of parliament voted to, to impeach Rigadi Gashagwa. But Rigadi has left a rotten egg on their faces because Rigadi is asking them questions that they cannot understand. The burden of proof still remains with the people impeaching, him. And we believe that the Senate is going to be the place where now real prosecution is going to take place and there is going to be questions and interrogation and that is where we believe Rigiji is going to win it. And so ladies and gentlemen, members who impeach Rigiji Gashagwa are being chased left, right and centre. Those who betrayed Rigiji from Central, you know, are hiding and people are looking for them in their hideouts. Rigiji is walking freely, taking selfies. I want to see William Ruto walking freely and taking selfies if it, knows it is not something that has been choreographed to show people that he's also very popular. I don't know what you think, but whoever advised Ruto to impeach Rigiji is not a good advisor. For the team that uh, are handling Rigiji, psychologically, physically, they are doing a good job. Rigiji is becoming out to be a hero.